Scout Court of Honor is now called to order. Good afternoon. My name is Sean Randash and I'm Assistant Scoutmaster for Troop 5401. And it is my privilege on, the ha on behalf of the troop to welcome you to the Eagle Scout Court of Honor in, our, in honor of Margaret Hill. At this time, I would like to invite Pastor Don Strakis to come forward with an invocation. Thank you, Sean. Welcome, everyone. It is great to have you here at Margaret's Church, uh, where she has grown up, done wonderful work here, and it is our honor and joy to celebrate this day with her. Please join me in prayer. Gracious God, Spirit of life and love, creator of the mountains and forests, it is good to be gathered here on this occasion of Margaret receiving her Eagle Scout Award. We are thankful for her service that she has given to her troop, to the crew, to the community, and to the council. We are thankful for all those who made this day possible. Merit badge counselors, unit leaders, fellow scouts, and most importantly, her parents, Julie and John, her sibling, Andrew, and for the trail to Eagle is often hard and lonely. We are thankful for her Eagle project here at Zion. And most importantly, we are thankful for Margaret's scouting career. May all that is holy hear our prayers and bless this celebration and bless Margaret. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Pastor John. Will Troop, oh, will the Eagle Scout Escort please present the candidate? Troop 5401, please present the colors. Post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. It is my 
pleasure to introduce Becky Sherlock to 541's committee chair to introduce the candidate. Good afternoon. I'm here to introduce Margaret Hill. In her scouting career, she has started with the Explorer Post, on uh, the Fireman Explorer Post. Um, then she joined the Venture Scout Group and has earned the, the rank of Discovery. In Scouts BSA, she has earned 24 merit badges, became an ordeal member of the Order of the Year, and has attended one week at summer camp and many nights camping. She's also completed wood batch training and was asked to be SPL um, on staff for NYLT. It is with great pleasure to introduce our special guest and one of True 5401's assistant scoutmasters, Jeremy Putt. Not only were they 
there are these rambunctious little boys and their parents, but also the rest of the families, their sisters. These sisters, some younger, some older, jumped in with us. They did everything their brothers did, sometimes even better, like listening. <laughs> They asked questions at the police tour, they played games, they, uh, they did service projects, we built things. They participated without hesitation. And then they watched the brothers go up and get ranks and belts and public recognition for all the same things that they had worked just as hard for. I watched a lot of boys over the years, from those little tigers on up through some of our, our old scouts now, or eagles. And today, we get the honor of seeing our first female eagle scout who has absolutely knocked out these requirements. Now, for those of you who may not be aware, most scouts before BSA said we're, we're having females have anywhere between, what do we say, Sean, six years? About six years to complete this task. Margaret had two. And a lot of our scouts previously struggled to even get to that point. She had two. By the way, of those two years, there might have been a slight pandemic, I hear. So she's had some challenges thrown at her. We get to see her knock out those requirements to fight to get to that next step, step in her path. And I got to see her do it with vigor and determination. I got to see her grow and lead. And while she might not wear it for everyone else to notice, we all get to see the red cape around her shoulders. And I look around again, like before, only now, I see everyone looking up to this sister, this daughter, this powerful young woman, this Eagle Scout of ours. An example for all of us, but especially for young women who are just learning where they want their place in this world to be. You are the first of many. Women who have become parents and professionals who have wished for this opportunity to prove themselves, to themselves and to others, that they had the same determination to complete this quest. This journey of merit badges, endless campouts and adventures, and so many service hours. This feat was not easy. And while you get to stand on the shoulders of giants, Margaret, women who were dead mothers, who were cub masters, scout masters, merit badge counselors, women who fought for voting rights and equality, who watched out for others who were not even like them, while they were battling for a better future for everyone, you are now that hero that others will follow and make their own path. Margaret, I've seen you take a young scout <coughs> quietly aside and help them overcome their fears, their challenges, their exhaustion, their anxiety. I've watched as you've helped create ideas and carry that torch of leadership, even when some of the adult volunteers were certain you lost. I've seen you care deeply about this troop. I've seen you care deeply about your crew and how you want better for all of us. Your selflessness, your integrity, your courage, your, excuse me, your courage, your kindness, and how you carry the scalp ball on scalp ball every day. Margaret, you are an eagle, soaring and helping others become the best version of themselves, being an example for us to follow, lighting the way for the future. It has been an honor to watch you grow into the amazing person before us. And I look forward to watching your fellow scouts and your communities continue to achieve. Look at the experiences you have encountered in your ascent. 
These experiences should not be forgotten. You should profit by making sure adverse experiences do not occur again. Experience is a valuable teacher if you heed his teachings. Remember when you took your first step upon the trail that leads upward. With that first step, you began to grow physically, mentally, and morally. You started living the scout oath and scout law, and while you were on the trail, we watched you study, and we saw you learn by doing. Upon joining the scouts, you were only a scout. At that time, you began working hard on your requirements to reach 10 foot rank, and the first led of the trail to evil. Before long, your fellow scouts were calling you a tenderfoot, and they were right. You were indeed a tenderfoot scout. Soon you reach the second ledge, and then you're repeated by a large group of second class scouts. Some like you stop to catch your breath before continuing along the trail. You begin to study more, you work harder, and almost before you knew it, you came to another ledge, the ledge where the first class scouts dwell. There you found a tempting green meadow by a crystal curl stream bathed in sun. There you were tempted to remain. Yes, you could have remained there to live with as a first scout scout in the first class scout glory, but your ambition spurred you on. We remember your advancement to Star Scout. The trail of first class to Star Rank was not as difficult as it has seemed. This spurred you on, and again you climbed higher. The trail was steeper and less worn. Fewer scouts seemed to be headed in your direction. You looked down and saw the clouds below you. You looked up and saw a few above you, and with the same determination with which you started to climb, you continued the trail. Soon you earned the badge of life, the life rank. The heart badge is based on your uniform. And you will never forget your thoughts at the moment. This feeling has been experienced by all scouts on reaching the ledge of life scout. Now I am close to Eagle. I will carry on. The trail became tougher, but more interesting. The original principles of the scout oath and law now had fuller meaning. Your understanding of them was deeper. Yes, we watched your character unfold and blossom. We watched your leadership expand into valuable asset. A valuable asset. We have watched your mind develop and your wisdom increase. We have watched all these things in you. And now that you are at the threshold of your goal, we welcome you. For you have done your climbing in a true scout-like manner. This is the voice of the eagle. The foremost responsibility of an eagle scout is to live with honor. To an eagle scout, honor is the foundation of all character. A scout lives honorably not only because honor is important to her, because of her, but because of the vital significance of the example she sets for other scouts. Living honorably reflects credit upon her home, her church, and her troop. May the white of the eagle badge remind you always to live with honor. The second obligation of an eagle scout is loyalty. A scout is true to her family. Scout leaders, friends, school, and nation. Her loyalty to her troop and fellow scouts make her pitch in and carry her share of the load. All of these help build the loyalty, which all of these help to build a loyalty, which means devotion to community, to country, and to one's own ideas, and to God. So let the blue of the evil badge always inspire your loyalty. The third obligation of an evil scout is to be courageous. Courage has been a quality by which many people measure themselves and others. The scout bravery means not only the courage to face physical danger, but the determination to stand up for what is right. Trusting in God with faith in her fellow man, she looks forward each day to seek in her share of the world's work. Let the red of the eagle badge remind you always of courage. The fourth obligation of an eagle scout is to be cheerful. To remind, to remind. To remind the Eagle Scout to always wear a smile. The red, white, and blue ribbon is attached to a scroll of the Second Class Scout Award, which at its end is turned up in a smile. The 
final responsibility of Eagle Scout is service. The Eagle Scout extends a helping hand to those who still toil up the scouting's trail, just as others helped her in her climb to the Eagle. The performance of the daily good turn takes on a new meaning when she enters a more adult life and continues services to other, service to others. The Eagle stands as a protector of the weak and helpless. She aids and comforts the unfortunate and oppressed. She upholds the rights of others while defending her own. She will always be prepared and put forth her best. You deserve much credit. You have achieved scouting high school work. But wear your award with humility, ever mindful that the Eagle Scout is a left looked up to as an example. May the Scout go with the law, be your guide for tomorrow and onward. It is now my distinct pleasure and honor to give you the Eagle Scout Challenge. I'm happy to do this. Will each of you please give the scout sign and repeat after me in unison. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to my country. I reaffirm my allegiance to the pre to the three promises of the scout. and take upon myself 
the obligations and responsibilities of the rank of Eagle Scout. On my honor, I will do my best to make my training an example and make my rank and influence strongly count for better scouting and for a better citizenship in my troop, in my community, and in my contact with other people, regardless of race, color, or creed. To this, I pledge my sacred honor. You may not be seated. recognition of your mother's devotion, please present her with the mother's pen. Your father has been the source of much advice and guidance through, you, through the Eagle Trail. So I'd like you to I'd like him to present your scarf and your certificate. the 
now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the newest Eco Scout, Margaret Hill. Very proud. 
proud of you for this achievement and we wish you all the best. God bless. Short of their six or 
seven year journey. And she was going to do it in two years. So. I'm now happy to admit to my daughter in public that I was wrong. <laughs>
bike who goes into scouting and becomes a, a scout here in North Dakota, we'd like to have, make sure they have one of these drinks. Female Eagle Scouts, and as a member of the inaugural class of young women, 
to receive the high honor across the United States. Margaret is a member of Scout Troop 5401 of the Northern Lakes Council. A recent graduate of Minot High School, she, Margaret is currently studying biology education at Minot State University. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, which limited many scouting activities over the past year, she continued pressing on toward her goal of completing the merit barriers necessary to earn the award. For her Eagle Scout project, building a pit for dodgeball, which is a variation of dodgeball, for the outdoor activities at her home church at Lion Lutheran. She said earning the 21 merit badges along with completing a project and other requirements for the Eagle Scout Award helped her further develop leadership, time management, and communication skills. She intends to continue her involvement with Troop 5401, transitioning into an adult leader this year. Mr. President, <clears throat> I congratulate Margaret on achieving this award through hard work and pers persistence and being a trailblazer for other young women who have interested in the scouting program. With only 6% of all scouts obtaining the rank of Eagle Scout, she will now be recognized alongside others who have earned this prestigious award since it was created in 1911. She will learn, as have other Eagles, that throughout her life this accomplishment will bring her recognition as being a person of the highest caliber and character. I fully expect to hear much more from Margaret in the future as she excels in academic, professional, and personal endeavors. And that was right into the congressional record on March 17th. Congratulations, Margaret. been asked to do and keeps getting asked to do with my phone buzzed here now I see they want her to testify in a Senate hearing in the next week or so. So I know this brings a lot of recognition to you but it also reflects on the 254 and all the scout leaders. So thank you.
Uh, I was recently watching a movie, it was called Wonder Woman 1984, um, and there was a quote that was in there that made everything kind of click a little bit, um, and Wonder Woman said that sometimes you can't see what you're learning until you come out the other side. And I think that that is the best part about scouting, is because you, the scouts join scouting for fun activities, and the adult leaders join it because they're adult leaders and they care about the scouts' futures. Um, and I think throughout the entire process, no matter who you are or what unit you're involved in, adult leaders and scouts always come back out on the other side, learning lessons they didn't know they were going to learn, um, and just overall, it makes them better people. Um, and with that, one of the things that I, I've always known as a problem is time management. Um, but Scouting helped me figure out exactly how, when I identify that there's a problem or something I struggle with, how do I fix it? Um, and my time management is kind of like a ladder. And it doesn't have all the rungs there. You know, you can do it, but it takes a lot of upper body strength. Um, and so, scouting has been really influential and um, pretty much the sole reason that I've gotten better at this. Um, scouting is giving me the tools and the resources to help figure out how I can um, build in more rungs on that ladder. And it's also taught me that you don't need all of the rungs there to do it, and sometimes that's okay. Um, and yeah, that's really all I have to say today other than to thank you all for being here and for supporting me through everything.
what should I do for the Skull Master Minute? <laughs> and before we close, I'd like to thank Margaret for letting me be part of this ceremony and be part of your journey to Eagle Scout. And I would like all of Troop 541 to please stand up. All the little scouts. And one day, I expect to see each and every one of you up here getting your ego away. Margaret did it in two years. You guys can all do it too. Thank you. So, as this ego scout court honor now draws to close, I'd like to invite Pastor Natasha up here for the benediction. Please stand for the retirement.